hello welcome back this is question 9 if this is the first video you are seeing in this playlist please can you go to my youtube channel there is a playlist titled igcse maths paper for 3 may june 2024 there are eight videos there for questions 1 to 8 the diagram shows seven cards amir picks a card at random find the probability that the card shows the letter h H appears zero time, so that would be zero out of seven. That would be zero. The letter B, letter B appears once, so that would be one out of seven. So that would be one out of seven. Part B, Fumika picks one of the seven cards at random. She replaces it and picks a second card at random. So that is with replacement. Find the probability that both cards show the letter I. So since it is done with replacement, so we have a uh, letter um, I appears uh, two times. So the probability of the first selection will be two out of two out of seven. Then since it is with uh, replacement, so letter I appears two times again. Okay, so that will be. Uh, 2 out of 7 again. So here we have identical uh, letters. So I, the first I is not different from the second I. So the other does not matter. So here we have 4 out of uh, 49. So we have 4 out of 49. So part C, Marcos picks 2 of the 7 cards at random without replacement. Okay, so without replacement, find the probability that one card shows the letter I and the other and the other card shows the letter N. Okay, so I appears two times, then N appears once. Okay, so uh, here the other matters. So if you pick I first, then you pick N next or you pick N first then you pick i next okay so the other matters and don't forget this is done with uh, replacement okay so that means you're going to have a, a two-way thing so we need to multiply by two okay we we'll just do for one so that will take care of the other these two will take care of the uh two uh possible orders okay so here uh, the probability of selecting letter i will be two out of seven then multiplied by so we have selected uh one from letter i so letter i appears once now so the two two is now six so we want to select from letter n but letter n is one so it will be one out of six so this is what we are going to um, get here okay so if you do this this will be two into two times one two out of seven times six that will be 42 so 2 here, 1, 2 in 42, that will be 21. So we have 2 out of 21. So Roman figure 2, find the probability that the two cards show different letters. Okay? So the probability that the two cards show different letters will be equal to 1 minus uh, probability. Okay? 1 minus probability that uh, they show uh the same similar letters or the same letters okay so the same letters okay so if you uh, go up here so where you can have the same letters so since you can have uh, i i okay i i and a a okay because i appears two times a also appears two times so that is where you can have the same Letter. So I appears two times, then A appears two times. So we can have similar from these two. So it will be one minus so um, two letters here. Uh, so two letters here. So we can have this like um, I I. Then you can have A A. So you can have this one here. So okay, I can actually write this better. Okay, so let's write it like this minus uh, probability of uh, 
Okay, let's make this to be a bigger one. That is A A. Okay, or I I. So this is what you have here. And don't forget that here the order does not matter because you have the same uh, letters. Okay, so it will be one minus. So probability of A A. So the first A will be. 2 out of 7 multiplied by 1 out of 6. Don't forget it is without replacement. Okay, then plus for i, it will be 2 out of 7 times 1 out of 7. So this is what you have. So if you simplify this, you can input this directly into your calculator, or better still, you want to have 1 minus 2 times 1, 2 out of. Okay, let's just write the other side. So you, this will be. Um, 1 minus open bracket 2 times 1 2 out of 7 times 1 7 times 6 rather 7 times 6 oh thank god i uh, saw this so 1 times 6 so this will be uh 1 times 6 okay good so you have 2 times 1 2 7 times 6 you have 42 okay add 2 times 1 2 then over 7 times 6 you have 42 okay so this is what you have here and you can actually add these two together that will be one minus uh two out two four out of 42 so if you simplify this it will be two goes in two uh, two goes in four twice two here 21 so you have one minus two out of 21 and that will give you 19 out of 21 so that is pretty easy okay so let's go to the next part uh, nina picks one of the seven cards at random without replacement she continues picking cards at random without replacement until she picks a card that shows the letter a the probability that this occurs when she picks the end card is 4 out of 21 find the value of n okay so um picking we are dealing with letter a here okay so don't forget that a appears two times okay so a appears two times so if it appears at the first uh, uh when n is one the first uh, time so it will be okay for the first time it will be uh two out of seven so that's not what we want to get so for the second one so it means uh, it does not appear at the first uh, selection. So that means others appear. So we have other letters will be five. Okay. So others will be equals to five. So that means it's uh, any one of these five. So that will be five out of seven. And uh, the second one is now um, letter A. So that will be um, two out of six. Okay, so it is without replacement. So if you uh, simplify this, it will give us 5. It gives 5 out of 21. Okay, so 2 here, 1, 2 in 6, 3, 5 times 1, 5, 3 times 7, that's 21. Okay, so for the third one, so uh, the first one will be from this, uh, from this 5. Okay, so that will be 5 out of 7. Then, and the second one will also be from there, so it will be 4 out of 6. Then the third one will now be letter A, which will be uh, 2 out of 5, okay? So if you do this, I can simplify. 2 here, 1, 2 here, 3, okay? So 5 cancel 5, so you are left with 4 times 1, 4 out of 7 times 3, 21. Okay, so that means it appears at the third selection. Okay, so that means n is equals to 3. Actually, if this uh, was to be a very large uh, data, so it will be very uh, tedious doing it uh, bit by bit now. So I think um, I can model something. So let's see if it works out. So since we are selecting 2 out of 7, that is, uh, we are dealing with letter A, so that is, the probability is 2 out of 7, 
So we can write that as the possible uh, selection will be 2 out of 7. That is 7 combination 2. Okay. Then since it is done without replacement, so we can have 7 minus n here. So it reduces by 1. Like you have for the first time it becomes 6, it becomes then it becomes 5, 4, 3, and so on and so forth. So let's see how this, so um, I think we should give this a condition that is n cannot be n cannot be equals to 0 and that's the number of trials, n is the number of trials, okay? So n, and n cannot be 7, okay? So that is um, 0 is less than n and n is less than 7. So this is the condition. Okay, for this. So let's try it out. So for the first trial, that is n equals to 1. So you have, so 7 combination 2 is um, 21. So we can write this as 7 minus n over 21. Okay, so when n equals to uh, 1, the first trial, so that will be uh, 7 minus 1, that will be 6. So you have 6 out of 21. So 3 goes here. 2 times 3 goes uh, 7. So we have 2 out of 7. So which is this? Can you see it's correct? So when n equals to 2, we have 7 minus 2. That's 5. 5 out of 21. So this is also correct as well. Okay. And uh, when n equals to 3, we have 7 minus 3. That will be 4 out of 21. So pretty straightforward. Okay. And so on and so forth. So you can try for... Uh, n equals to 4, n equals to 5, and n equals to 6, respectively. So that will get that will tell you uh, the probability that uh, the given answer occurs at end time. Okay, so for this, if you use this, you surely get your answer straight away. I think this is uh, very okay. So n equals to uh, 3. So this will be at the end of my solution to question 9. In the next video, I will solve question 10. Until then. Have your fingers crossed as usual.